Signal problems ahead. That alert brings the commute to a halt. But what does it actually mean? And why does it take so long sometimes to fix them? I'm inside the New York City Transit Training Facility talking to the transit president. The transit system has millions of moving parts along hundreds of miles of track. This rail is not for trains with commuters. It's for training employees on the signals. The light you see from the platform is part of the system that keeps the trains properly spaced and prevents crashes. Once that goes reverse, now we can actually move that train. NYC Transit's Signal School is located underground in a station complex under 14th Street. Signal crews are in training about five months in the classroom and in the field. This model is tiny, but it's connected to an actual signal, circuit, and switch. Signal maintainers learn how the mechanisms work, how it operates, what can go wrong. Most of the signal technology is about a century old. Some of the parts are 60 years old. It's never just the, the bulb that's in the field that, that our customers or train operators see. It's never just that. It's a very, very complicated system built up of a ton of old relays, track wires that tie to those relays. NYC Transit President Demetrius Critchlow started with the MTA 28 years ago as a signalman. I ask him why fixing a signal problem can take a while. You send like usually a signal maintainer to the local location. So that's why it becomes a challenge when you have like a, a issue that, that the tower itself is out. They stage response teams in busy areas or places with complex operations. They don't know what's actually causing the failure upon their first response. But because we have several different crafts there, they can identify what the problem is and then they can have the crews that are coming with in response bring the right tools. More than $5 billion of the next $68 billion capital improvement plan would go to new upgraded signal technology. You can't replace these old systems with another old system. You need to do better. The 7 and the L lines have the upgraded signals. They're working now and it's funded to bring that to other sections, including along the Culver Line in Brooklyn and the Queens Boulevard line.